Are you gonna hurt me? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh man. What a roller coaster of days, bro. I just lost a video that probably had like 1.5, 1.8K views because of this guy, Kumo, the guy that we're talking about in this video. It's just a re upload, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. So, like the last one. here fantasizing by laying you on your stomach and tuning that big old red ass up and spirit and folding the big old red ass cheeks and long in that pussy to the squirting and farting, squirting and farting, squirting and farting. Got that dookie hole soaking wet, soaking wet, soaking wet. You throwing that back and it's gripping and hugging, gripping and hugging. Shout out to Critical Shotgun on Twitter for that wonderful depiction of Just a Robot's final statements on the Cinebear uh, situation going on. But today is not about Just a Robot anymore. Today is about Akumo. And Akumo has finally seen the light that we've all seen in commentary community. The ACC degenerate himself has finally come to our side and realized that we are right, but not for the reasons you think but because they don't know what they're talking about. They do not know enough about the subject matter. The only thing that works for them is the fact that if they call you a pedophile, it's really hard to argue with them without sounding like a pedophile. That is the only thing working for them. That is the only reason that they're right. So the only reason we are right is because we make a claim and it's very hard for you to debunk that claim without being called a PDF, right? Now, all I have to say, uh, it's very easy to debunk a claim. If you're a PDF, if you're a murderer, right? Let's go more extreme, right? You're a murderer. I've never killed anybody. Debunked, right? You're a PDF. I've never touched any child. Debunked. When you start defending actions that are closely correlated with the situations that Cinebear did, and we do have another confession by the way this is another downfall of kumo he may have done a little good by admitting he was wrong but he's still wrong i don't know how you admit you're wrong and still find fault in also being wrong a second time this is the second this is crazy bro that's crazy you blew my mind the bar was so low and somehow you found a way to find a hundred feet of room to go below it bro it's insane i couldn't couldn't believe that i'm only left right now with surprises from you you can only surprise me from now on it's just it's baffling the room temperature i all right, I'm sorry. I shouldn't be calling him nicknames. I shouldn't be <laughs> should be attacking him as a person, bro. I'm just gonna attack the content of your character that you've shown us online, bro. We got it right because the signs were there, brother. I'm telling you, brother. Why did I say like that? The signs were there. Like a corrugated or uh, correlated pattern of behavior has already been set in motion. That this wasn't the first time she had DM'd a minor. Now the first time, granted, was 17 and 19. Not really a big deal, right? Romeo and Juliet laws. Who cares? To do this a second time after you already said i will never dm a minor again when you were 19 years old she's now 20 by the way less than a year or exactly a year either way that's insane to me i don't know how you defend that i don't know how you saw yourself coming out on top and i don't even know how you see yourself coming out on top of this not only being soy boy about this but absolutely beta cooking yourself <laughs> to the commentary community once again with your horrible take kumo come on bro i actually really liked your leo convoy coverage but this is just a total l total kumo l total melt we never called you a groomer we never called you a groomer we never called you a pal this entire time we've said that you're hypersexual you're like hypersexual sh and you're like in your insane in ter insanely terrible impulse control needs needs to be like worked on these are these these are very we've identified we've identified these issues for you ages ago they say it and they go ahead big brother moment right we identified these issues for you ages ago now i have questions and concerns about that statement alone if you had these concerns ages ago if you had these questions ages ago how did you guys not see a pattern of behavior forming with what was being sent those dms to a minor i get the overt sexualization and nature of what she was saying if this was with an adult it's a different kind of conversation it becomes more of just harassment and if the other person was even consenting it first off it doesn't matter right if the minor was consenting or not this is still sexual misconduct being taking place regardless if she's grooming or a pdf right there's a major issue going on here and if you guys knew about these certain kinds of behaviors and still took the defense up as of two weeks ago that is a bigger issue on your, your part that is a fallacy on your end it's inappropriate stance on this i get if sinny is your friend you'd want to do that i understand completely i would do it for my boys too but at the end of the day if my boys are out here talking and seeing what i'm seeing with this degeneracy in these logs with a minor i don't know them that's not my boy i'm sorry lock them up right that's I'm, that's how it is 
I'm snitching, bro. I don't care. It is what it is. You, you're not going to come around here. You're not going to be talking to no kids, bro. That's how it has to be. That's how it has always is online. That's how it's always been. But then you go around with just a robot saying, well, not you, Kumo, directly, but these people go around with just a robot thinking, oh, just a robot, just cooked, just a robot, just cooked. And then he just says the most stupidest thing. 17 in real life is very different from 17 online. In real life, I see a minor. On the internet, I just hear a voice. Okay, just a robot. Just for an example here, predatory investigations always start online. <laughs> They always start online, so I don't know how they can be different. It's very weird. Been genuine with me once. And I don't, and this doesn't mean that I'm going to call you a or I like resend any of my logical takes. This just means that like, I don't. So Cinebear has just been lying and lying and lying and lying. And for some reason, once again, I want to reiterate this point because I have this, I have this just for this statement to reiterate once again, Akumo, we all saw the same pattern of behavior. We all saw the same logs and you got everything before we did just for you to make the same point that we all made a week ago today i just don't get it. i don't get it but i'm glad you're here you're on the right side right now you could still be mad at commentary uh the commentary community me and all the other spurgs and everybody that's out here making content on you that's fine you're completely allowed to be critical of our content and what we've said about you we've called you names we've called you all this other kind of stuff you are completely in the right with being upset with us but i'm glad you finally realized that cine bear needs to be taken down these art cc creators need to be stopped bro this is insane what is with the overt sexualization in that community? I've never, ever, ever been in a community where it's like that. It's always the anime community and the art community. I don't know what it is. Why is it like that? The VTuber community as well. What is with, what is going on? There's got to be something going on in the brain, bro. There's, it's some, some name right. Some name right. I have a knot in my stomach knowing that I tried to help you and you actually are a predator. There was intent. God bless America, bro. Bros, we were right one more time, bro. We got another predator up in the... What did I just say? We got another predator to put in the body bag, bro. Put him in the body bag. Get him out of here. Nobody needs you, Cindy Bear, bro. You need to go to jail, bro. You need to go to some reform program. You're not okay in the head, bro. It's okay. Maybe mentally you're like 16, 17 years old, but you need to face reality, bro. And that's the case for a lot of these people that are just coming out with these situations. You need to go outside and realize you're an adult now, bro. Go to a bar, something. Oh, she's 20 years old. Never mind. You can't even go to a bar. Join the military. I don't know. Do something, bro. Start drinking. We can still do that at 20, right? But I don't, I don't know. I don't know, bro. Just go do something. Get a new hobby. Go play volleyball or something, bro. Just hockey or skateboarding. Something. Please. Please. And I've gone through that on your behalf. Not because I'm defending you, but because it's fair. Because it's the because I I, I was under the false impression that it was the truth. That they were wrong. But now they are right for the wrong reasons. I wish these people had the insight I have now. And they're probably going to be real. They're probably going to be coping and pulling their hair out. Trying to trying to deny. That this is how it is. But genuinely, Cinny. <laughs> I, I, I have been so wrong. I have been so wrong. My argumentation wasn't even bad. Like in, in my point, like my conclusion that was still adjacent to what they were saying has been wrong. Because I was under a false impression, not even because my points were bad, not even because, <laughs> not even because like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So his his whole thing is wrong. I don't understand how he thinks that we're going to be coping and pulling our hair out for what it is what it is. There's intent to talk to a minor there. There's intent. Obviously, there's not maybe not grooming, but there's some some PDF like stuff going. There's intent for uh Cine bear and all this other because maybe Cine bear wanted to meet up with this minor it would have been crazier right i don't understand how we would be coping about this i i really don't lose anything at the end of the day if i cover this or not i just think it's very just like the way this whole situation is handled the way everybody scrambled for something that was in front of our eyes is insane to me like you essentially told us to avert what we see in front of our eyes as if it was your final wish, you know, George Orwell, 1973, or whatever that book is called. It's insane to me. Then they masquerade it, pedo jacket it, cover it up, try to make it seem less serious than what it is by comparing it to other more extreme cases when all the cases are bad across the board, right? It's so insane to me. What the f is going on in RCC right now? What is happening? Why is this happening? Why is the consistency all over the place? Here in commentary, bro, if you would have done this, it's, o it's over. 
You're done. You are done. We are calling you a pedo. It is it. We're going to laugh at you every single day that you're online, every single day that you show your face, every single time you open up your mouth and chat. We are going to laugh at you and hope and pray to God that you don't do it again. I mean, the extreme version of that is to hit them offline, but we're also very against that. I'm very much against it. I don't, that's, that's, that's dumb as hell. We're just fucking talking on a mic. <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. That is the only thing working for them. That is the only reason that they're right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Never taking L's. Always winning. We always right out here. Guys, I love you. We give a couple of decisions. Well, the next one, subscribe if you're brand new. And I'm out of here. Hey. Shut <laughs> up.